Good morning everyone, it is a little bit windy today which is nice because it's drying things out a little bit and it hasn't rained too much, although it does look pretty black up there hopefully it's just a little, a little shower that's going to pass through if anything but Doug's here today getting the calf pens ready as we have one the others won't be too far away but we'll put this plywood on, it's 12 mil plywood it was on special and it is looking yeah real good there's I actually went up so it's quite high off the ground at the moment but I'm thinking that once wood chip gets in here it'll sort of fill it up and I don't think anything will get underneath and it's also good because we should be able to hang milk feeders off off that wood too but I'll leave Doug to it and we'll come back later and have a look I'm just going to shoot down to Mike the Builders which is literally like five minutes down the road so it's very handy, easy to get to Oh Mike's new fireplace is there Good morning Mike How you doing, oh, Not too bad, I see your fireplace has arrived Yeah it looks awesome, it looks pretty big <laughs> Be heavy, heavy to move around. Yeah, they reckon when it's done, be one and a half ton. Holy heck! Yeah, that is that is fairly heavy. Yeah. Richard's not here. No, nah, he's running late. Oh, is he? Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought I was running late, but yeah. maybe we're both running late. Oh no, that's right, eh? Oh, it's only twenty past ten. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a call in ten minutes if he's not here. Oh, no, nah, that's all good. He's no, usually pretty good, eh? Let's see now if he's yeah when he's going to be there. Look at that, perfect timing. Oh, here they are. So those are the two Wagyu's that we gave to Mike a couple of years ago now. So one of them is getting butchered today along with the ready coloured Hereford there. And if we pan around here, look there's the, the Jersey cows that we sold Mike, cull cows a while back. They're looking pretty good Nick, Mike. Here's Ginger. It's a mini Cooney Cooney. Cooney Coonies are a New Zealand breed of pig. Hey matey, you don't look very miniature. Yeah, it looks real nice. This is the this is the Hereford one. Look at the fit on it. Hopefully this Wagyu is going to look fairly similar. <laughs> be interesting, eh? Yeah, it will be. It will be interesting. No, no. Oh, this is ideal. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I couldn't have done them in there. No. Shit, it's quite yellow. Oh, look at that yellow fur. Yeah. Far There's the bit of the jersey coming That's through. That's the jersey yep. coming through, yeah. Yep. This should be nice. What do you reckon, Richard? Good beast, though? Lovely. Good condition? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep, you look at the... You know, you look at her ass there, she's actually sitting on that much fat. You yeah, know, true. Yeah. Oh, right. So, no, she's, she's in a good mood. But we wouldn't have anything less here. No. Though. No. Not off, I've never done a skinny one out here, Mike. That's <laughs> real. We're really hoping that uh, that it's marbled a little bit. That's uh, Well, that was the whole goal of using the Wagyu. So, time will tell, but. We'll find out soon, I guess. Yeah, we'll cut once we uh, cut this in half and quarter it. We'll have a look at the scotch. See what the marbling's like in the scotch. Oh, hopefully, hopefully it has marbled a little bit. I'd say so. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice there. Yeah, it yep. does look good there, eh? Yep. Oh, my mouth's watering already. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, there's a bit of fat there, eh? Yeah, it's not too bad either. You can see where she's um, just been sorting up from being bowling, eh? It's yeah. um, yep. yeah, a little bit bruised up there. Yeah. Not as bad as I thought when I saw her yeah. in back end, so that's good. Juicy fat in there. Lovely. We um we hung one the other day for um oh, it was just nearly four weeks, so it was just under four weeks four. on the bone. And um you know a lot of people swear by that, you know, hang it for three weeks or four weeks, but gee the wastage that you get is um quite bad, eh? At, at four weeks. Yeah, well, it's just you've got to trim so much um, dry, dehydrated meat off the outside. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, it what are you usually, goes... usually hanging for a week? Yeah, seven, seven days, and then vacuum pack it, and you can hang it for another however long in your, in your fridge, vacuum packed. You know, you can keep it in there for another three weeks if you want to. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah it doesn't taste as nice, eh? Nah. That, that more matured meat. Too mushroomy for me as well. Yeah, I don't so. like it. Marbling on the scotch there, oh, so yeah. you can see the grains of fat actually in the meat. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So same, you know. Yeah, that's how it's going to get. Yeah. Yep. You can see it quite clearly on that one. So what's that? The scotch. Ah, uh, that's the scotch. Yeah. Yep. That's the scotch fillet, and yeah, you can definitely see that the fat in there. So it will marble up a little bit, which is what we want to see. Yummy. 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 Thanks Richard. I thought it was real game driving out here, but it got around sweet as it's actually quite hard. Mike's purchased from the field days, picked up one of these flare fires. This is the one that they actually had at the field days. Man, that's cool. It's awesome, pretty big fire pit there. Looks fairly heavy though. Holy heck, there's a bit of, bit of concrete in there. I think Dad will take that half and there's a Wagyu over at John and Debbie's over in Teapocky, so I will probably take the half from that. I think John said he might be getting done in the next month or two. He needs just a little bit longer as they are pretty slow maturing. So I'll take that half, and then the other one that's still alive at Mike's, Mike will do once he runs out of his half. So oh, looking forward to it, a little bit, little bit of meat coming in, a little bit of good meat. It did look pretty yummy too, but it is actually the next day now. Just another sort of overcast sort of a day i'm getting these cows out they are going back to the cow shed this morning because we're actually leptoing them i don't particularly want to come out here to be honest though it's been real real windy which has been quite good because i'm actually riding around this annual paddock on my two-wheeler so you can see it is pretty hard on top the cows haven't made too much of a mess for another two days they're going to go in there today and then the next break tomorrow and then it's supposed to rain so I'll get them back off here but that was the plan of that. Melissa's back. Back in action. Pretty quick doing this, doesn't take long. Longest part of just be getting the second herd up. Too easy. Took like 10-15 minutes maybe? Yeah, oh that's half. So there's 120 and there's another herd. Dad's, oh yeah, there they are down the bottom there. Probably be 20 minutes. And there's the last of the second herd. So everything has been run through now. 
I've pulled this girl out. She's got mastitis in her back right quarter. Sort of see it there, it's a little bit swollen, so she needs treating. And it's pretty good because I can just leave her with, with these milking cows. Had a bit of a long walk this morning, but this paddock is probably one of the one of the steeper ones that we have. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna graze this hill side off so there's one break there and then they'll come in here tomorrow. And depending what the weather does on Friday, they can either go up the top there, there's probably another break for them, or I can bring them back down onto the flats. But it is pretty easy to make a bit of a mess on this country like this, so that's why I'm chewing it off now. The wind has dried it out. And the lepto jab that they got this morning, or vaccination, was for leptospirosis, and it is pr pretty much to protect us, really. It used to be quite a common disease um, because it is passed from the cow through, through the urine. So like when you're milking, if you get weed on, you could have caught it in the olden days. Whereas now it's, it's well, it'd be, probably be pretty rare to get it nowadays. Um, you do hear of like the odd case or the odd person that has had it in the past, but yeah, it's sort of, sort of to protect us, I guess. And dad's always got this theory that when you jab them for it, there's always some that abort. That's why we always do it as close to calving as possible so that if, if they do abort now, we can milk them. It's, it's not too early, like if you just dried off and you did it and they aborted then, you're not going to milk a cow that early or it'd be a bit of a pain to do it that way. So everyone's got their own little things that they like to do and that's one of dad's and, and I must say that yeah, we usually do get do get a cow that, that aborts or, or calves soon after these jabs. Maybe it's from getting knocked around in the yard, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a coincidence, but that's what he does. I was kind of hoping that the wood chip might have turned up yesterday or today, but Bills has just rung and said that he can't get hold of them. I think it's coming from Bradfield's down at Otrahonga. So he's going to try again. They were actually quite short, so hopefully there's a little bit left. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use sawdust, which I usually don't use, but it should be all right for down here. However, Doug is all finished in here, and they are looking awesome. Looking really good, nice and tidy. Well, they always look nice when, when everything looks new, but I just need to sort these drinkers out. I'm actually gonna bring an angle grinder down, cut these off, and bolt these to, to the plywood there, and then that'll sort those troughs out. But it is looking, looking really smart. And I also just need to get some uh, gate latches for these little man gates so that the calves can't open them but looking very good when Doug came and had a look at the job we sort of discussed whether we should use rails or plywood and he priced up rails and it was going to be more expensive so that's sort of the reason that we went plywood it's just a little bit cheaper my little mate's doing pretty well too now he's drinking drinking really good just going to tuck her into bed Shut this door. Hey little one. Didn't actually pick it up till later on, but it's quite a hard case. Cow number one had replacement number one. But that'll pretty much sum it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up like always, that'd be good. And apart from that, see you next time when I should be collaring collaring the heifers. So hopefully that goes well. <laughs>